thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think this has been a very good debate. Um, and look, this is very simple. Again, um, we've heard a lot of different things about us lecturing others. Now, look, this is what President Obama said in the election. He said during the election that it was not wise, paraphrasing him, to raise taxes on time of economic hardship. Uh, and again, I'm paraphrasing it, but he said it more than once. So here we go. Now, I understand that some people say this is a tax for the wealthy, taxes, uh, tax cuts on the wealthy. Let me tell you who's going to pay these increased new taxes. Anybody who uses electricity is going to have to pay more. That's not just the wealthy. Anybody who uses gasoline or diesel in their cars or trucks is going to have to pay more. That's just not the wealthy. Anybody who uses nat natural gas at home for heating, for cooking, or for, or for industry is going to have to pay more. Anybody who uses en any energy, wealthy or not, is going to have to pay more. And anybody who gives to charity is going to have to pay more. Any small, most small businesses are going to have to pay increased taxes. This is very simple. If you believe that we should tax more, vote against the amendment. If you believe the federal government has enough money and we should not raise taxes, vote for the amendment.